in the program right now? Yeah. So you're so the Python. Oh wow. Okay. So the Python program's running. So red. Okay. Blue. We get our spectrum analyzed. Nice. And in green, we get the rainbow. Very cool. So you, we've got the Python program that's running using the CV module for OpenCV to detect the color, and then over a UDP socket, UDP socket locally, it then tells the LED Escape program to change the pattern that it's playing on the Adafruit yeah, yeah, so uh, yeah, so RGB. The program is listening on UDP socket for the image data. Mm -hmm. so like each packet contains a, an image, uh, right. and it's putting it into a memory buffer for the peer use, and the peer use are dumping it out to the, the LED panel. Cool. It's very nice. I like it. You, you worked vision into it. I, I knew you would somehow. You gotta use the CPU for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Well, because that's a good point, right? So the this is like zero percent CPU. That's what the LED scape thing was saying, right? It doesn't. So it's not using any CPU for the animation. It's just for the OpenCV stuff. Well, the animation it is. For the animation, but not but to not, the, not to dump it out. Not to refresh the pixels. To refresh the pixels. And it's a lot cheaper the animation than. Animation here, I wouldn't have to be using it in Python, but I just happen to be doing the animation here in Python. Right. And it's a lot cheaper than the FPGA board. That I think that that you can buy to drive this From module the, yeah, also. Yeah. 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 Much cheaper. Yeah, because 